Okay, hi, I'm Susan Woldridge. I'm here with Tom Baker, and this is part four. This is our fourth video. This is a continuation of the first part because I omitted something rather important. Okay. I was recounting in the first part about how old I was and, and the occurrences, two occurrences in my life, which, which, which I really recall. One was my, my mother's meeting General Lawrence Baker. The other mm -hmm. is my meeting with Cousin Sally Baker Milton in Mariana, Florida in 1948, in which she told me that when she was a young girl, that the whole family and all of the cousins all had cottages or houses at what is called St. Andrews, now known as Panama City. And in the summer, they would go from Mariana down to the beach in covered a covered wagon train, which took several days. Now that is sort of the scope of my early, rec the people I actually knew Wow. A long, long, long when time ago. When she was a kid. When she was a kid. And we drove this on this trip that we, or this um, Bakers of Buckland Society meeting this year, we've driven from Mariana to Panama City. And to drive is maybe, what, an hour and ten minutes? I don't think it took that long. But uh, well, it depends on where you're going, I guess, in yeah. Panama City. But to get down to where Robert Marmaduke's summer cottage was maybe an hour and ten minutes. Well, I, I, I drove down several years ago to the airport from Mariana. And it, it, all right, it took about an hour. I think it's about 60 miles or thereabouts. I think that when Margaret Breland drives, it's a lot faster. <laughs> That's what she says. Um, okay. So, so do, you, that, do you think that where they were summering, that their area was the same as the Baker Court and oh, all that? Oh, it was It was somewhere on, 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 on the beach. It, it's St. Andrews, and St. Andrews is it's, still on a Florida map here. And isn't that where Baker Court is that we saw? Hmm? Isn't that where Baker Court is? Remember when we saw Baker Court this weekend? Where Robert Martin No, I think it was on the beach. We weren't on the beach. We were on the mainland. No, w remember when we were looking at the houses and you could see the beach and the water? Okay, but we were not right. No, that was back from the beach. Baker Court was back from the beach several a block or so. No, and I also understand that another of the family down there was named Irwin. Uh, there were two Irwin brothers who quite a, a historic in early Florida. And I have been believe there is a steel or metal monument on the beach at present Panama City somewhere to the effect that this was where the Irwin beach house was okay did did you get a chance to see the plaque on the baker house or did you stay in the van when we were there I, I i knew there was there was a, there was a plaque okay. and there is a plaque in greenwood which is named for the greenwood in scotland neck north carolina where the bakers had plantations in the early 1800s there is a plaque designating the Irwin House in, in uh, the corner of, of, of the downtown, quote, downtown. Yeah, it's Greenwood, a very small spot. It's signifying this, this was the Irwin House. Right. And another item on the Irwin House, I visited that in 1948, and there were still Irwins living there. And among the other things was a beautiful old, not grand piano, but the predecessor of a grand piano, they had another name for it, on which were two dueling pistols engraved with the name of one of the Irwins. Unfortunately, sometime after 1948, when the Irwin people were out of town, someone backed a moving van up to the back door and took every stick of the furniture out of the house. They have never been discovered to my knowledge. So the dueling pistol and the piano and everything else in there. Oh, you would think went. the pistols would show up at some point. On eBay. Uh, yeah, at least. I mean, not, nobody's going to throw those well, away. Well, that's They'll what, that's what was something. there. And they were oh. engraved with the Irwin name. I believe they were made in London, but I don't, I'm not that sure. But they were displayed on the piano. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because we're almost at five minutes.